Hello, people. Another beautiful day. <laughs> yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck nation, Steam Deck universe, Steam Deck world, Steam Deck legion. What's good? Steam Deck mom, what's that? And Steam Deck squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks. And you investigators, what's that? All right, we got a new we got a new Steam. First things first. When it comes to Madden 24 on the Steam Deck, you have to wait for like a new update from Proton Experimental, uh, Proton from Valve, or a new update from Steam OS. Okay, that's what that's what you're gonna you guys gonna have to do when it comes to uh, Madden 24 on the Steam Deck. So wait for those updates to fix. Uh, Whatever issues you're having, you know, uh, with EA games running on the Steam Deck, you know, um, because uh, you know Valve says they were saying that, that that's an EA problem. So, you know, um, wait for Proton Experimental. Always, always try to find a fix to get uh, games running on the Steam Deck. But then there's Proton, the official Proton from Valve, and then there's Steam OS. So, wait on that. Now, we got a new Steam OS clone. That's a new Steam uh, OS clone. It's called Bazite. Baz, it's B-A-Z-Z-I-T-I-T-E. -I -T -I -T -E. Says Bazite is a Steam OS clone that support gaming PCs and the Steam Deck. Mm. Says your uh, PC gamers can now experience Linux gaming the way Valve intended to be. And it says your. Uh, Valve Steam Deck focus on Steam OS 3 operating system might be one of the best Linux operating systems designed for gaming. However, Valve has yet to release an official desktop version of Steam OS that is suitable for a PC. To remedy the issue, the Linux community has created a custom clone of Steam Steam o, of Steam OS called Bazite that support gaming PC hardware right out the box, making Valve's Steam OS desktop experience experience accessible to Linux gamers, and I will and I will try to leave that link in the description. I will leave that link in the description box. It said Bazite isn't an exact clone of Steam OS 3, but it's functional. It's virtu virtually identical to Valve's operating system. On the surface, Bazite features an identical desktop experience to Steam OS uh, 3, thanks to the integration of KDE Plasma. In a customizable Linux desktop uh, environment, Valve KDE themes from SteamOS Bazite shares the same desktop wallpaper icons and taskbar as Valve's operating system. If you don't know any better, you, you think you are running the real SteamOS. <laughs> and it says here, uh, but under the hood, Bazite actu Bazite actual operating system is not the same as it uses it. As it uses an entirely different Linux distro from Valve's operating system, instead of using a branch of Arch Linux, which is a distro SteamOS 3 is based on, the site is built using a custom version of Fedora 38, which incorporates more hardware and devices support than SteamOS 3. Some of the hardware support includes baked-in proprietary NVIDIA drivers, support for GeForce GPU, to enable GeForce powered Steam, I mean powered system to run Bazite. And it says sadly AMD support is unclear, but the Steam OS does support AMD uh, Rock, Rockem, <laughs> R O C M. Anyway, and what else? Anything else? Uh, it says here, one of the perks of Linux-based operating system is that you have the freedom to build an operating system, whichever way you choose, with features you can. With, with features you want to have and yeah so yeah you want you want to get it you want to get a taste of uh, uh, steam OS hmm. well we have Baz Zeit Let's see what else is there anything I'm missing here anything else it says uh beyond this Baz Zeit has several other features It says uh, Bazite Bez has several other features 
makes it stand out from Steam OS 3, including a CPU uh, scheduler for our system builder, System76, to opti optimize uh, CPU performance, an Android emulator called WayDroid, support for Display Link, and more Bazite is also capable of running Steam slash Proton and Lutris through a vir virtualized compatibility layer of Arch Linux, which should improve compatibility with Steam Deck. Uh, approved titles, even though Steam and Valve Proton compatibil compatibility layer is already functional on Fedora 38, having a backup system that can run game through Arch Linux is good to have. So yeah, you little Steam Deck uh, nerds are getting spoiled. And it says here, uh, there is even a Bazite version optimized for Valve Steam Deck for that special niche of users who need more functionality than what Valve Steam OS already uh, provides on this on the deck. Most of, most of the additional are high technical, but one of the most unique addition is support for 32 gig of memory for people who want to mod their Steam Deck with 32 gigs of uh, system RAM. The Steam Deck uh, version is definitely not for any everyone since the Steam Deck already comes with Steam OS 3, but it could be a good alternative for hardcore Linux power users. <laughs> you Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. The only issue right now is the only issue right now with Bazite is that the installation procedure is a bit complicated for normal users to the point where the developer consider the OS installation process as incomplete. However, the installation shouldn't be too much of a problem if you're already familiar with Linux operating system. And it says, uh, Bazite is arguably one of the best effort to get Steam OS 3 desktop experience running on anything that, anything other than Steam OS. There have been other attempts to get an actual copy of Steam OS 3 to work on non-Steam Deck hardware like Holo, Holo, uh, so, but... Hardware support is unreliable, and in case of Holoso, it only works with specific AMD GPUs. Mm. Thank good article, uh, Tom. Tom Hardware. Now, you little Steam Deck investigators, huh? Mm. Thirty-two gigs of RAM, huh? <laughs> we couldn't find a game the Steam Deck couldn't run. Mm. All right, B uh, Bazite. All right. Mm. For desktop ends and, and the Steam Deck, huh? Woo! You little Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Mm-mm. That's, that, that is, this is some good news, man. Oh, yeah, the modders are going nuts. But see, it was Valve, it was Valve, it's, Valve is responsible for, the, for, for this. Remember, when they built the Steam Deck, and when they opened the back of the Steam Deck, the modders are like the sentinels on the Matrix. You know, like how the, you remember when the sentinel opened the ship with the laser and those little feet were moving? That's how the modders were with their fingers like, really? We got something to say about that. And they did. So now the Steam Deck now has 32 gigs of RAM support. Mm. You little Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Bazite for desktop for people who want to get a taste of the Steam OS running on the running on a desktop. Yeah. You little Steam Deck nerds, geeks and freaks are getting spoiled. Yeah. Spoiled. Deals, games, updates. Look at you. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um you guys are getting uh, spoiled, man. Mm mm mm. Yeah, 32 gigs of RAM on the Steam Deck. Mm, that should run Starfield really. Mm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, that's a 32 gigs of RAM. So we'll, we'll, we'll we we just for fun, just for fun, we'll give the operating system two gigs of RAM, and we'll let 30 30 gigs of RAM run for games. How about that? <laughs> anyway, yeah. This Linux community is no joke, man. They 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 are they're about their uh, tech and their gaming, man.
but Zyke, and now you you have support for 32 gigs of RAM. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, the Steam Deck way. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek time for Dark Side. Peace.